going to be doing lock sprinkles again. I did lock sprinkles for the first time for my birthday back in September. Um, they were really cute. It was honestly a lot of work. It took me a while to like get the hang of it. So hopefully this time I can do a little better because um, anybody got time for that tonight. So this is gonna be the next step. Before I even retwist, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on my hair. And I just got multicolor. Sorry, my phone won't really focus too well. Um, metallic mix. And these are like, a dollar and some change so we're gonna try not to get these wet because we know they're gonna rust and I was pretty sure I already had needles and things like that from when I did it the last time Ugh, damn I have plenty but just in case I was like maybe I'll keep them away just so I didn't have needles like chilling around I bought new ones for no reason and then I still have thread, I have brown thread, so I guess that's not too far off, whatever. And also what I decided to try, I went to the beauty supply today um, to get most of this other stuff, but I got one of the, um, like the sewing needles. I haven't used one of these in forever, but I feel like this actually may be a little bit easier doing my little lock sprinkles with this, to be honest. So we'll try that out when the time comes. So, this hair dye has been in my hair for about a good like a good 45 minutes maybe so now while i'm waiting i'm just gonna start threading some of my beads just because i remember last time how difficult it was just sitting there one by one threading another one one by one like it was just a lot i can't find my scissors that's the only reason i'm not using a knife i'm about to just get a whole bunch of them prepared that way i can just move it along move it along this is just like oil and stuff what i've done is i just went ahead and um threaded like I think 12 needles and just tied little knots at the end last time i had only did one like one bead per lock um i think i'm gonna try to go ahead and just do multiple ones this time um, so i'm just going to stab it through the lock contrast it against my pos face um and just take it through a couple times that way the thread can just you know do its thing anchor i believe that's what it's called all right so now that i've looped it through like three times i'm just gonna take one of my little beads here and place it on it oh wow <laughs> it's not gonna fit <laughs> okay so there goes that answer for the um the sewing needle not happening Let me see if there's a bigger bead with a bigger hole to fill this. I'm not trying to let this go to waste for me. Let's see if the gold one will go over. Hey, it's lit. The gold one will go. Alright, so now that it's on there, I'm just going to take this and... Oh my gosh. Just sew it in. Darn it. be forced to do another gold one because it's the only one that'll fit. Oh, maybe it was just that one gold one. So nothing else even trying to fit. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing a video on this, but you get the point. All right, I don't know where my scissors are, so I just, I really don't care tonight. So we just gonna cut the shit like I've been doing. And throw that needle to the side because it's garbage. This is what it looks like. It's definitely not perfect, but from far away, who cares? <laughs> All right, so now hopefully this will be a little bit easier to show you with a smaller needle. 
Um, sure, let's go ahead and do the thick mama. So in the lock. Dang it. Up again. Pull. And then we're gonna put our beads on. Boom. And I'm gonna just go down again. Up again. And we're gonna stick another color on here. Boom. I feel like is with securing um, just because I don't really know what to really do when it comes to securing it I don't know if I should just tie a knot back here on its own or if I should tie it with this one like I'm gonna try to tie it on its own I don't even know like what's the easy way this is like all the videos that I've watched I don't think like I've seen an explanation on this like <laughs> When I say I don't recommend it, I mean tying the top piece and the bottom piece together. Don't do it that way. I'm going to show you in a little bit the way that I actually think came out better for me. Alright, so I'm getting a little better as things are moving along. I'm not doing any type of like uh, color pattern or anything like that. I'm just putting these things up on here, okay? And just dropped this knife in my lap and then what I've been doing is taking the end that I just cut that I ended with and I'm separating it and then I'm just tying it with just like a regular little knot Oop. take your loop your loop and pull and then I'm doubling, double knotting it too. So it can be a little tricky because it's a small area to work with. And On the other side that's hanging down, you just want to cut that part off. It's already knotted I'm at just, the bottom. It really helps when you um, pre-thread your uh, needles because that is, is so time consuming when you're like in the middle of trying to do your sprinkles. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going through and threading some more um, because I ran out. So this is what we're looking like as of now. A few moments later. <laughs> Y'all, it's 919. My back is killing me. So this is what we're looking like as far as the sprinkles. Um, I wish I could say I'm done, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do a, a few more because it looks like on this side I have a lot more at the bottom towards the bottom than on this side it's probably gonna just do a good 12 more so that's how many needles I have out right now maybe not even all those and just I'm not doing all my locks okay <laughs> it is currently 9 54 so 10 p.m. 
Um, I'm just now finishing up with my lock sprinkles. I think this is it. Um, yeah, that's enough. This took forever. <sighs> Y'all, so now, um, the last part of this is my pipe cleaner curls. I really just want to give up on the retwist for tonight because I'm really in pain and I'm just so over it. I've been doing my hair since 3 o'clock. It's after 10. It is after 10, y'all. I'm just gonna keep pushing on though. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start these pipe cleaners. <laughs> 